Hello everyone, we are in Tenerife and we are going to explore the top things to do on this Canarian island. Tenerife, the largest Canarian island with also Montada that has the highest peak of Spain. An island where you expect loads of things to do. The easiest and most popular thing for people to do is to stay in Los Cristianos or Playa de las Americas. Resort areas with man-made sand beaches water activities such as jet ski safaris, kayaking and snorkeling, and some good restaurants as well. Especially a bordo in Los Cristianos is highly recommended. <laughs> then there's up north at the west coast, you'll find Masca, a picturesque village built on a mountain cliff. It was originally a Guanche settlement before the Spanish conquest of 1496. The village is now home to around 90 inhabitants. From here, it's a short ride to Puerto de Santiago, where you will find Los Gigantos. Gigantic cliffs that can be best admired from its beach next to the harbour. According to locals, if you swim into the direction of the cliffs, you will find a good snorkeling spot. Unfortunately, due to the current, the visibility in the water was bad, so I can't confirm if that's the case. You will also find the Pesquina Natural. These are located around several towns in Tenerife and are basically man-made pools to enjoy the seawater in a calm way. If you want to do something more unique, why not visit K9 Dog Shelter? Every morning you can help the volunteers here who take care of the rescue dogs by going on a dog walk with one of the dogs. Then there is of course Mount Tade. You can't climb Mount Tade without a permit, but there are some hikes in the area that you can do. However. Something more unique would be to drive up this area in the night and go for stargazing. Tenerife is one of the best spots in the world to go for stargazing and this definitely didn't disappoint us. Further up north you will find Santa Cruz, the big city in Tenerife, in my opinion a city that can be skipped. We didn't find anything special here, however even further north from here you will find Anaga Rural Park, a forest area where you can go for hiking as well. Only make sure you come early, because parking around the visitor center was unfortunately already taken on a Saturday when we arrived at around 11 am. Then there is Playa de las Teresitas as well, an extremely long man-made sand beach. Whilst it looks beautiful and the bay is calm for swimming, which is ideal for children because there aren't any stones either, this is the windy side on the island. Meaning, when you lay down, be prepared to get sand blown over you. Of course, there are places on the north side of the island which we unfortunately didn't have time to explore anymore. Places such as Garachico, Parque del Drago, Puerto de la Cruz and La Orotavo to name a few. All in all, Tenerife can offer you different activities, from beach activities to more active hiking activities. But if this is the best Canarian island to visit, that's something we will explore in another video.